Hello, I'm Council Member Don Zimmerman, the first District 6 representative in the new Austin 10-1 geographically representative system. I'm asking for re-election based on a remarkable set of historic accomplishments in District 6, and I'll cover just a few examples. I opened the first and only local District 6 office on Anderson Mill Road in the heart of District 6. By reallocating my existing downtown office budget, I was able to pay for rent and staffing for this first ever district office dedicated to constituent services. The office is open five days a week during business hours. Our new office welcomed over a thousand people and resolved nearly 200 constituent assistant forms for issues like excessive water bills, poorly maintained city easements, water and sewer leaks, and even a case where an Austin water utility mistake caused a raw sewage backup in the home of a District 6 resident. I also passed a resolution through council on a vote of 10 to 1 in my favor, which started the video conferencing testimony from our local District 6 office. For the first time in Austin City history, you can testify before elected council at regular Thursday meetings by live video conference without spending hours traveling downtown and contending with traffic and parking. I was the first 10 1 council member to pass a resolution through council 11 to 0 to allow district council members discretion on 1.9 million of capital expenditures per district. My office determined District 6 spending priorities through local office meetings and many of the 14 town hall meetings we have conducted since early 2015. I was the first 10-1 council member to successfully represent Austin and Travis County taxpayers by opposing a wasteful 285 million Travis County downtown civil courthouse bond. Together with council members Ora Houston and Ellen Troxclair, I successfully argued that taxpayers are fed up with wasteful spending that prioritizes downtown and increases congestion. We are tired of self-serving politicians and bureaucrats packing projects into a downtown which is already congested and unaffordable. The defeat of that tax increase in 2015 makes this year's 720 million Austin Mobility Bond even a possibility. I was the first 10-1 council member to represent Austin Water Service customers in city utility administrative hearings. These hearings allowed my constituents to more formally and successfully protest irrational water bills. This action so intimidated the self-serving city bureaucrats that Austin City lawyers sent me a threatening letter which was marked attorney-client privilege in the hopes you would never learn about it, suggesting that I had violated city code section 2-7-62D, which, quote, prohibits city officials from representing directly or indirectly any other person or action in a proceeding against the interests of the city. You heard that right. City lawyers paid for with your tax dollars have the arrogance to state that it's a potential legal risk for me to represent you, the voters and taxpayers of this city, instead of representing them. So the bureaucrats admit they have an interest which is against your interest. In fact, city lawyers have a bad habit of improperly influencing your elected council members behind closed doors in executive session. And it's way past time to expose and correct such elements of city bureaucratic culture. To that end, I was the only city council member publicly calling for what the public demanded a change of our city managers, which will happen next year. We must change city management culture with the new city manager. In my experience, the majority of council mostly acts like a rubber stamp of policy and spending agenda set by very powerful city staff. I have the opposite approach. I've taken a leadership role in inquiry and investigation, and I'm the outspoken leader for fiscally conservative policy. If you re-elect to me this November, I will spend the next four years leading the policy debate for affordability and on traffic congestion relief, working with TxDOT and other county and city officials to finally get an expressway from Lakeline Mall all the way to the SH-45 and Interstate 35 connection in South Austin, which would finally move that parking lot we know as Ranch Road 620. Thanks for your attention in advance. Uh, thanks for supporting the taxpayer's voice of reason, Don Zimmerman. Please call our office at 512-655-2929 or visit donzimmerman.org. Thank you.